Hey everybody, welcome to the Geet Up. Today we're talking Big Brother. That's right. In this season, like every other, we got some twists. And the twist here on the show today is we got super fan Ashley joining us. How many how many uh, seasons you been watching now? I've been watching since season two. I wouldn't call myself a super fan, but no, nah, I, I totally yeah, makes you a I've been super watching fan. since season two. So, <laughs> all right, guys, well, what kind of twist we gonna see this season? Stick around because we're about to find out. All right, guys, Big Brother 23, we got a couple new things happening. They upped the money by 250000 putting it at a total of 750000 yeah, for this season. That's right. So it's about time. 500000 seemed kind of low, especially when people from I'll Survivor take, making I, I, a million. I'll take 500000 any day. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> right. Oh, the other thing, we had a contestant, Christy, who tested positive for COVID, so she didn't make the show, and that allowed for Claire to come in. Apparently, there's some controversy about that because she had another test afterwards that was apparently negative. So maybe they'll bring her back uh, for another season after that. What do you guys think? Possibly. I mean, she did say she wasn't having any symptoms. She wasn't having any issues or concerns. She wasn't exposed to anybody that she knew of, uh, and she had been vaccinated as well, so... I don't know where the positive would have come from. It could have been a false positive, but maybe yeah. they'll we know that's it. pretty common these days yeah. with people having false positives. We saw it with the sports teams and stuff like that when that happened. It's just the way it is. Yeah, and I say I really don't care. Sucks to be Claire, or sucks to be Christy and Claire. You're lucky. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> suck to be Claire. <laughs> yes. too, yeah. <laughs> so, what did you guys think about this first episode when they bring on the cast? Any standouts for you guys? Well, first of all, what's I mean, we gotta say we gotta say what's new with the cast here, right? I think this is the first year that they've had eight women and eight men, right? Typically it's not that exact same mixture. I mean, I think there's been previous years where they've had eight years and mm-hmm. eight men, but it is not always split evenly like that. Right. Um, but they do seem to have a very diverse group, which is kind of interesting in in not so much their ages, but their gender, nationalities, you know, where their backgrounds and everything and what they do. But uh, there is only one person that's over 40, I believe, which is... Yeah, the single mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's so, normally a couple of people that are like Yeah, older, they usually have some a, older a good people. Mix so yeah. that's, there's a lot of diversity in there except for age, I think. They're, they all seem to be yeah, pretty up. Well, yeah, the veteran true. guy, uh, Frenchie, seemed kind of old. And yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, there's a woman probably, that's kind of old, right? The woman said she was 40. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The What's sing, her name? Single mom. Yeah, single yeah. Um, yeah. Tiffany, I think. Yeah, Tiffany. Well, and, and the other thing here too, right, is, you know, this time around, it's teams of four, right? That's never happened before. And not only that, but it, it was like, it was like elementary kickball, right? They had to, you know, you had you your team captains, had your team captains chosen, they had to choose their players, you know? So, you know, somebody's going to be the poor kid chosen last, right? Yeah. So, I mean, they got to say like one or two sentences about themselves and then it was like, um, okay, well, I'm going to pick that one. And it's like, well... You don't really know anything about that person, right. and now they're your teammates. So. Well, and they've had teams in the past, too. Were they teams of four ever? They've or? had teams of two. Um, I think this has happened like three or four times. Yeah, before. usually they'll go in with like a duo or something like that. Um, but but Big Brother is known for their twists. So, I'm you sure know, it won't be before too long that, that's true. that those are split up because mm-hmm. it has to be, right? And, and they tend to like steer the show, I think, a little bit based on that, on how it's playing out. So, you know, if one team gets like wiped out right away, I don't know how they'll... So what do you think about the yeah. team dynamic? Do you think that's a, a good choice? I don't know. It'll be a little interesting. You know, I'm sure we'll get some diary rooms of people complaining about it. You know, they go in with a specific strategy and then that's all going to be thrown out the window now that they're playing with a team. You know, they're placed on this team with three other people and... Yeah, but I'll tell you, you know, what, though, they, man. They may not be the people they want to play with. So. Right, right. But, well, the, the thing is, too, though, even even with that being said, right, I mean, just the first two episodes we watched, I mean, there's already tons of strategizing going on, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's giving their kind of feel, uh, you know, especially Frenchie. You know, that dude's, like, talking to everybody. And uh, and then you got, you know, and then you got, you, you can kind of tell the other people are kind of starting to generate alliances a little bit and kind of getting cool with each other and stuff. So, I mean, even, even into the first two episodes and even though there's teams, you got plenty of collaboration amongst other teams with each other to try to help each other out. So, so as we said, Ashley's a big super fan. Billy's, this is new. This oh, is new, first time first ever season. watching this. So this That's is right. his first two episodes ever. I've watched a couple seasons in the past and tuned in and out um, as time has gone on. Yeah. I mean... I, I gotta say though, I don't know that I'm a super fan. Yeah, I don't want to say you watched it since season two. You, but I'm I a think loyal that fan. <laughs> I have watched it since season two when I just sat down one night, came home from work, and it happened to be the premiere of season two, and I was, I've been hooked ever since. 
And I will say, I had to get talked into watching this show for this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, what? No, nah, man, I ain't a reality TV show. No, nah. but I mean, what? it was good. You know, the first two episodes was pretty cool so far, so I'm glad I watched it. Okay, so they bring these guys in in groups of four. Like yeah. four, four guys, four women, four guys, four women. Yeah, for the introduction. Right, yeah. to have the competition. What did you guys think about that? Well, I didn't mind. Any standout characters to you as they came in? I mean, I guess, so I like Frenchie, and I think it's a consensus that a lot of people like Frenchie. I like that he's a military veteran. Yep. Obviously. As we are. Uh, but he's a family guy. And he's a family guy. man, yeah, a farmer. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's got a, a manual labor kind of job running his farm, you know? Yeah. They didn't get too much into his military history. Like, they didn't, no, they didn't say what service he was. Comment on what service he was in or anything no. like that. So I'd like to, uh, hopefully I learn more about that as the season goes on. Yeah. But I liked him, but he does seem to be kind of playing a little... Loose, I think, with oh, his, yeah, you know, yeah, he's talking. Yeah, he's talking to everybody and telling his strategy to everybody, and and especially when there's the team dynamic, you know, you can want to work. You have to work with your team at that point, but then you're spilling your strategy to the other team members, and you know that's going to get back. Yeah, well, especially whenever it kind of bit him in the butt towards the end there, because right. Well, let's get into how it first started. Like they bring in the first group of four and then they go and they have to put together, they have to match this picture up with these four. Right. The the first game is the the first game is the picture Mm -hmm. match. Right. So they all four contestants had to play against each other. So the first is the four guys. They got to play against each other. The first one to match the picture correctly and hit the buzzer wins. And Frenchie wins the first competition, which means not only does he win the competition, but he wins. The, well, he's a team lead at that point. Yeah, the winner becomes, of these yeah, events determines who's lead. going to be the team lead. And, so there's the four teams, and and, well, and, and the winner gets to the ter- and the winner gets to play the next round to be for head of, head of household. Right. So, so then you have the four winners of those those teams. As far as mm-hmm. those teams go, and who won those competitions, uh, Frenchie, I, I kind of could see that he might win that first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were a couple other ones I think. Well, it was Frenchie, um, Claire. Whitney and was it Christian? I think was the yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Christian was the last one. Yeah, those are the Christian, winners of each Christian, of the rounds. I, I think was on is on was in Frenchie's first group. I don't think Christian won the the other one. I could be wrong. No, I think yeah, I think it's Christian. Christian's the the team lead on there. Well, there's two wrong. curly hair guys, and they're getting yeah, they get yeah. a little mixed up. No, from Travis, time to time. Travis, no, Travis was the other curly yeah, hair. I think dude. it was picked, Christian. He got though. picked last. It was Christian. Yeah, yeah Christian's the team leader. You're right, Christian. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> super fan. Come, come on, on now. Right, come on now. All right, all right, come on now. All right. Yeah, I still have those two players confused a little bit. They do look a lot alike. Yeah. So, so those guys were the team leads, and they had to push a button, and they had to pick between two guys or two women, depending, and and then choose their team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's how they chose all their teams, and they're broken out into playing cards like aces, kings, yeah, queens, jokers. and jokers. And then they had a competition from there to determine head of household, right? So what did mm-hmm. you think about that? They had to like what build a, um, a pyramid dip. of cards. Yeah, that was yeah. kind. Of, that was kind of interesting. How uh, you know that showing how they're working together because they're having to keep a balance. You've got three people trying to balance something while one person's building something. And it, it's kind of interesting in those kind of communicate or those competitions, the communication is key because, you know, one has to go mm-hmm. up, one has to go down. Sometimes people get impatient. I didn't see a lot of like or hear a lot of impatience or yelling or anything like that. No, yeah, they were getting along pretty good, which is usually what happens in those kind of scenarios. Right. Well, so. especially, well, especially what's at stake in that one, right? Because a team right. that won gets immunity for the week. And a team that gets last place is the have nots. And they live in a crappy room up in the attic. They look like garbage. Although uh, Mobius from uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mobius from Loki would have loved it because they had a jet ski bed there. So he'd be like, yes. <laughs> so what is there any team that stands out to you guys that you're rooting for or a specific player this early on? You know, I got to tell you that changed with episode two. So I actually kind of am rooting for Christian's team at this point. Um, I was rooting for Frenchie and I think I, I still like Frenchie and I want to root for him and I hope he does well, but I think he's kind of like, done some made some moves that have put him in a, a really tough spot. So I think that's going to impact negatively on him. But as far as a team as whole, I think Christian's team seems to be working together and strategizing together more than any other team. 
Yeah, so, I'm rooting for Team Aces that has Whitney and uh, my Italian stallion man on it, like yeah. Champagne. <laughs> I love the name Champagne. Guy, I don't know what it is about Italian guys, yeah, but I like it. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, what I do. Well, that, that dude's like, he looks like Jay Moore and Ralph, Mach and Ralph Macchio got stuck on this show together in the same room one that's, night. That's how had I like little, him. Had a little drunken that's night together, like and then I popped, uh, <laughs> I popped uh, what's his name? Brent. <laughs> So, that's that's my power that's couple right there, uh, so that's uh, who I'm rooting for. I don't know how well they'll do, but yeah. that's uh, who I'm placing my bets on. Yeah, no, I do like me some Whitney and her team, you know, don't get me wrong. But uh, no, I, I still like Frenchie's team. Now, do I think Frenchie screwed himself big time? Yeah, he gave away way too much of his strategy in the beginning, which came to bite him in the butt at the end because he really wanted to get rid of Christian. But, you know, Christian won the event, but he Christian, are, Christian also knew that he had already, that uh, Frenchie had already told all the women, hey, I'm not choosing a woman. So Christian's like, cool, you know, I get to, I get to spin this wheel. You know, he, land, he landed on one person, which means he could to save one person in his team. So he knew the two girls were supposedly already already good to go because Frenchie told the women, I'm not choosing a woman first round. So then he took, the, he took the dude on his team. So basically his team, his whole team had immunity right there. Or so he thought at that point. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Yeah. Frenchie's team won, had a household, saved for this week. And then he had an opportunity to play another game for a, either a second yeah. week or, or yeah. lose immunity for the first week. And he and chose to forego it. I would have probably stepped with a guarantee. You already have it. Mm, yeah. It keeps you around for well, another week. And I don't, you just don't want to lose well, it. Well, and they played that up as this is the first time in Big Brother history that they've ever allowed somebody to do that, right? So this is the first time somebody's had a chance to get that extra week of immunity for their yeah. team, you know, That's in any four season. People. Right. You can't nominate And, and they let him play anyway just for fun, and yeah. he ended up getting it like with we, like yeah. two seconds to spare, right, and he would have exactly. gotten two weeks of immunity for his whole team, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that mm -hmm. would have been pretty big. So yeah, that was it interesting. did look like he was not going to get it there at the end. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, he probably didn't really care too much. That's but, true. Um, That's true. I would have probably slow played that because I would have rather been like, well, you see, I made the right decision. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But uh, that, that was interesting. Now, as far as the teams go, I said I like Christian's team as far as a team goes. Now, I don't know how long they're going to keep this team aspect or when they're going to start to split them up. Right. They're going to bring but, it some um, who I really think – like. The players that I like are the, um, and I really can't remember her name, but the, she, she's on Christian's team. She's the forensic chemist. I like her. Oh, like, wasn't it Betsy oh, the, uh, or something like Comic Con chick. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the yeah. one who dresses up with yeah. anime and things like that. Yeah. I think she's going to be uh, someone who people think they can trust. She'll be friendly with everybody, but she's also very smart and strategic. So yeah, well, she's lying there, but she just told them all she's a voice actress when actually yeah, she's fine. a, you know, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, friendly, <laughs> exactly, so there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, not at all. So, yeah. Um, I also thought it was interesting when they had Brittany and her group together, Whitney on them, like they were all dressed to the nines, except for she's wearing yoga pants and stuff yeah. like right. that. Right, 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 <laughs> well, right, right. you know, she, she might have seen a couple episodes, you know, where you go in. Sometimes you go in and you're ready for that initial competition. Uh, and that happens throughout ah, the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, that's yeah so you don't know what that first competition is. I mean, typically you do get let into the house and you get to go pick your room and but usually they have a backpack or some kind of duffel bag with them to go in. They didn't have anything with them to go into the house. I don't know what was behind that. So maybe she had just some plan or maybe she just doesn't dress up. Yeah, well, everyone uh, was dressed up and she wasn't. And maybe that was an advantage to her. I don't know. Yeah. Everyone's trying to look good for the first episode. And she's like, I'm all about business. I'm trying to get in here and win this mm -hmm. thing. Even though she didn't win the event. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney actually ended up winning, which <laughs> right. I thought would be a, been right. a surprise for me. Right, yeah, exactly. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, Christian went in there, and the first thing he did was take off his uh, shoes. The shoes, yeah. No, that wasn't no, that was Christian. Travis. That's that was Travis. Travis. Yeah, yeah, I sorry. Travis. Yeah. those two. Get yeah, those two curly hair dudes mixed up, man. I know. That's why. That's, 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 that's why you got to get rid of one of them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I vote for Mr. Man Bun slash Corn Roll slash whatever he's gonna have that's, next. Like, that's Christian. like I know Christian that's can't even Christian. get his fingers dang hair out. You know, I'm like, you know, yeah, but I think I like Christian better than Travis. And Man Buns are horrible. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. Um, I would, if uh, I Travis had to is the surfer kind of guy. Well, Tra well, yeah, really, Travis has been pretty quiet so far. They haven't really focused on him much this first yeah, I like episode, that so, he, yeah. he, he's going to have this like revenge thing going on now. Like, oh, you come Christian at me, is? I'm yeah. going to bury you kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And why does he have that revenge thing going on? Well, I mean, we Frenchie was Frenchie that. was targeting <laughs> yeah. Frenchie and his strategy. Boy, he played wow, this right. like well, all wrong. <laughs> I think. Well, it's because everybody caught on quick with his, you know, because he, he he threw it out the window because you know, oh yeah, so he nominated a woman when he said he wouldn't. 
because he saw well, one of his, his first mistake was he he talks to everybody and tells his strategy to everybody mm-hmm. and doesn't ask anybody what normally they think. people hang out in the head of household room and people come to them and plead their case but not this guy he He's went right. around to every person pretty much guaranteed safety except for the pe- two pe- two or three people he was targeting mm-hmm. and then what happens when you tell everyone your plan it gets to other oh, people yeah. well and it, it wasn't that it even got to other people he had just it did he because like so it got to Christian, and then that right. motivated yeah, Christian. Yeah, because the two girls saw Christian. Hey, yeah. 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 And Christian yep. might not yeah. have played, and he could have maybe backdoored him, saw uh-huh. it as a complete surprise, yeah. and that completely yeah. threw out his game. Because one thing Franchi hates is like showmances for uh-huh. one reason. Yeah. That's his main strategy. It's not a very deep strategy, but if he sees a showmance going on, then you're the it. target. Yeah. And, and, and we started to see a little bit of connection there, or at least the show is trying to portray it that way, between right. Alyssa and Christian. And first of all, he didn't like Christian to begin with anyway. This is giving me more reason not to like Christian. Well, why does he know, like so, Christian? Because he doesn't like muscles. He does, yeah, he doesn't yeah. like... He's yeah, anti, exactly. like, the big muscle guys. If you're a jock guy, guy, then yeah. you're on his like radar. It. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, he was and going Brent for Champagne Brent. Yeah. was on his radar, yeah. and then Brent comes in and with talks to yeah. him, he had his and he works story. him over. Yeah. And I don't know if he's yeah. saying it's true. I assume it is, but he did a pretty good job of... Yeah, Brent came with the sob story. You know, my dad committed suicide, you know. No, his dad. Yep. Man, and then uh, you know, they, they, gave, they gave, you know, they gave, they gave a couple bro, hu- gave a couple bro hugs together, and then they were boys. You yeah, know, I thought so. that was pretty cool, though. Yeah, and it was uh, a real way to get personal, and I, yeah. I thought he did it. Yeah, no, well, he did a good that, job and that's where I think Frenchy went wrong. That I mean, this you're talking 24, 48 hours into the game, he's already made his decision on everybody yeah. before he's actually gotten to know people, and now he's getting to know these people, and he's like, oh wait, I don't really want to get rid of this person. And I've promised all the girls safety, but now I see the showman's developing. I can't get rid of that half. Yep. I'm gonna have to go after this half. So yeah, so. and of course, so of course, and then when the episode ends, you see the looks on all the women's faces, like, "Well, this guy just mm. freaking said he wasn't gonna vote for a chick, right?" So now they're all think Frenchie's a big liar. His only saving grace that he did tell everybody was, "I hate showmances." So and he and so you can say, "Hey, look, you know what? I know I said that, but you all know I hate showmances." So since Christian. Is non touchable. I had to go for her to get rid of this showman. That is going to be Frenchie's only However, saving grace in this. At this point in time, at least what's aired, it doesn't. It doesn't actually look like a showman. Yes, maybe there's a potential of it there. Right. But they it were actually, being flirty with each other. Yeah, they, they, totally they were totally being flirty. They were totally being flirty. He, he had his arm thing. around her, yeah. and she was like laying on his chest and stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, they were totally being flirty. The yeah. other interesting yeah. thing is. Uh, he's Frenchie's walking around like Jason Voorhees and stalking right. people, yeah. and just going in rooms yeah, at awkward like times, creeper, man. Yeah. and like he's the boss, and he's like rolls up in a room, yeah. like what are you guys talking about? And then starts interrogating people, like are there any alliances? Just let me know. And people are like, uh, right, uh, right, right. right. And what like, do you what say? You like say? Uh, I'm in an alliance. Let me break it down to you and right. ruin my whole well, day. I mean, he asked if anyone had approached him, but then you That's, you just start yeah. throwing that stuff out there, oh, yeah. and, you're and like, then Alyssa pipes in, and then. Nobody said anything. Focus. Yeah, like, like nobody believed what she said. They were like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right." But uh, you know, but it, well, then a lot of people made the comment, like, "Yeah, Frenchie's definitely taking the house ahead of house world seriously. He knows it's his house. You know, he's just walking in whatever room he wants to go in and yeah. just creeping around." So yeah, and I think that's yeah. really going to come back to bite him in later episodes. Mm-hmm. No, I think so as well. And he's yeah. just he's not staying under the radar, so he's getting everyone's attention, and he's bound to rub people the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm looking long term. I think. Uh, the uh, chemist has, has the best chance. I think she's going to stay under the so. radar yeah. long enough. And she's kind of interesting because she's lying about her story and everything. Right, exactly. Right? She, she said yeah, she's a voice. Yeah, that's not Yeah, I know, yeah. but she's the only one doing it that we've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, no, I think the uh, the attorney, what is his name? The, the one that uh, Christian saved with his extra save because he got to spin a wheel to the save. I Xavier? Believe, oh, Xavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier. I think he. I don't think he's telling them that he's hmm. an attorney. I don't recall that specifically. I oh, know he said he was a bartender. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he was yeah. a bartender. That's right. Yeah. So, well, one well, Travis was kind of lying in the beginning too, right? That's he, true. He he's, just made himself yeah. sound out to be like this this beach bum that doesn't do anything, you know. And he's he even like talked about that. Yeah, yeah, he works for the tech industry, like yeah, he's probably he owns, really a beach he's bum. Like, yeah, he, 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 he created his yeah, own maybe. startup. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of people lying, but that's, I guess that goes along with the show, right? So. Right. And okay, so, she's believable as a voice actor. She has so weird... Frenchie right. has to nominate two people. What do you think about his nominations? Uh, 
I, I wasn't real thrilled with it. So he nominated he nominated Alyssa because he couldn't nominate Christian, Christian who right. was his main target. So he saw them two getting kind of close together. So he's like, if I can't get Christian, I'll get the other half of the showmance and get Alyssa. Exactly. And honestly, I would have at that point with the teams being at play, I would have targeted that team specifically. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd have been smart. Yeah, so if true. you wanted to go after Alyssa, that second nomination well, he should have been somebody his, on that. His other team. nomination was Keelan, and he, he said Kylie, he, yeah. he said I'm just kind of putting you out there as bait to capture right. the big fish, which yeah. I guess he's right. saying is Alyssa here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When that's why Alyssa was like, why does he think I'm the big fish? Right? <laughs> I don't so. know why. Just well, he yeah. simply explain. just chose her because she's getting right. a little too close to yeah, Christian. Yeah, and he exactly. didn't explain that in his nomination, which nah. could have been a saving grace for him with the women. Instead, mm-hmm. it came off saying, rather cold. It did. Right. You know, he could have said, you know, I, I've, I've made it known I don't like showmances, and you're getting a little too close to Christian, so I can't nominate him. He has safety, so here so we it's go. you, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, with a Kylan, he kind of, I mean, it was definitely an announcement of saying, you're not my target. You are to, to Alyssa. Mm. But with Kylan, you know, that betrays a little, you know, puts him on the outside. You know, nobody likes to be. Well, that's because he had told pretty much all the other guys you're safe, right? <laughs> all right, guys. They also had a competition that determined immunity for one player where they had to go into a room and, and try and retrieve a phone, a wallet, and keys while remaining completely silent. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, so yes, yeah, so in this room, right? It, it was, they made us look like a big party room, and there's like a giant, kind of like the Hangover, or right? Something. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so there was like beer cans, trash, Cheetos, freaking corn. I thought it was really cool because as soon as they went through the door, there were cans stacked right, 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 the door right, that exactly. Spilled over, yeah. and you got points taken off or time added if you made noise. certain level of noise. Yeah, seven, uh, was it eighty decibel, ninety decibel, and hundred decibel, right? So anything over eighty, de- anything over eighty decibel was what one point. Anything over ninety decibel was five points, and anything over hundred decibel you lost twenty points. I think. And they had and there this, are mics all over the room. Yeah, no, they, they had, had this phone in the middle of these champagne glasses that had yeah. bells and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, and you were hoping somebody was going to crash those, right? right. But none of them, none of them made those crash. And so I thought that cool. was a really fun, cool competition. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was pretty cool. Well, and then, like you said, the beer cans right behind the door because guess what? That's a loud noise. That's an immediate twenty. Points, but I think right? only one so, of them picked it up on the second door. Uh huh. I think maybe two, but definitely the first guy. No, yeah. no only like one. Only up. one picked it up okay. on the second door. Yeah. 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 So you know, opening the first door and you see all this, you think you'd be a little hesitant. It was I Christian. Think it, was two. It, was, it was no Christian was because no. the guy said, "I'm not falling for that again." And then the woman, I think, also avoided. The it. woman may have. Yeah, avoided. she might. But it was Christian. It was Christian, it was Christian that definitely avoided it, right? Yeah. And and that was the thing. Frenchie told so many people about his plan that when. Um, Christian had the opportunity to play for this. He's like, well, I need to play and save myself. Right. And of course he goes in yeah. and what? Yeah. yeah. They, and he so won. their and he group wins talked it. about which one was going to play. And the, the, his group is, you know, Christian, the, Kylan, teams, right? um, Sarah, which is the, uh, the chemist. And mm-hmm. then Alyssa and Alyssa and Sarah was like, Look, he's already told us yeah. that we're safe. We're yeah. not. They going already up, said we're so. good, so you probably yep. should play. And he's right. like, "Did yeah, they exactly. tell you that?" And he's like, "Well, yeah." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, he knew the women on his team were safe, supposedly. So he was like, "All right, cool, then fine." You know, one of his guys got to do it, so I'll do it. So Chris, of course, Christian plays this, and he has a reason to do well. And of course, he's going all out, and he wins. And then another secret is revealed. They bring out this wheel that they spin, and there's numbers one, two, and three all throughout the wheel. Yeah. And depending on what it lands on, is how many other people he can choose to be safe with them. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I and, it, was, and it wasn't his team. and it wasn't Kylan yeah. on his team. It was Xavier. Remember, Kylan was actually in the competition you're with right. him. Xavier was on his team. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so he spins the wheel, and and it lands on a one. It's like right there, right almost, almost a, three, a three, but yeah. lands on a one. <laughs> And then he chooses Yeah, but who does yeah. he Xavier. choose? He chooses Xavier. Another guy. Because he knows yeah. the other two girls are safe yep. based on Frenchie's or word. He, th- he thinks they are based on Frenchie's word. So right. he really Frenchie's jacked word. up Frenchie's plan. Plan, big time, right. yeah. But Frenchie kind of jacked him up himself because he told everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frenchie screwed up bad. Frenchie screwed up really bad with his strategy. I mean, I mean, it was horrible, everybody. horrible strategy. I and like these guys were liking yeah. him initially, but yeah. boy, did he I screw was fine yeah. with I mean, his I still strategy. Like, I still like Frenchie. Don't tell everybody. Right. Especially you're talking week one, big brother, known for the expect the unexpected twists. Mm-hmm. You know, you, if you've promised the women that they're not going up and you promised three other guys at the initial competition, they're not going up. Right. 
You've now, but, that's nine people out of your pool. You're 10. You've only got five people or six and people again, to choose it, from at that point. Right. I and mean, again, his only saving grace is he did tell everybody, I hate showmances, right? So that's yeah. going to be his only thing that's going to yeah. pull him out of this hole with but picking a list. But he didn't Alyssa, play that up at, right? in his nomination speech. Well, no, he didn't. So. But, but when he's talking to everybody individually afterward, he's, you know he's going to play it up. So who do you think's getting kicked off or who do you, would you like All right, to see? All right. So, well, Frenchie did this. He did his little turn of the, of the, of the keys, right? Mm-hmm. And who did he pick? You know, Alyssa and... Well, we Kylan. already went over Kylan. all of this. Exactly. Right? But, you know. yeah. All so, right, so he picked Alyssa and Kylan, right? And then he said why he picked them. Right, and so he obviously thought he he's at least expressing to Kylan that he doesn't want Kylan to go, mm-hmm. that he thinks Kylan's a strong player to play for the veto so that he can win the veto, take himself off, and then so- solidify yeah. the fact that his uh, target, Alyssa, will go. I would like to exactly. see something happen where maybe Travis goes. He's just not clicking with me. So, And we already yeah. got Christian, who is a uh, lookalike uh, Travis anyway. And I, so. I didn't right. like Christian the first episode, but the second episode, I kind of started to like Christian a little bit more, and Travis hasn't done anything for me. I like so. his attitude <laughs> since he found out Frenchie's gunning for him. I don't so. man, yeah. I, I hate the I man like bun, the drama. dude. I hate, I hate the man bun, dude. I can't deal with the man bun, right? And then he did the cornrows, oh, yeah. and the, he's got the fluffy the hair. The man bun will grow it's on like, dude, it's like gross on everybody. It's, it's, like, it's like, make up your mind, dude. The glasses don't do it for He me. needs some yeah, yellow shades dude, just to add more you know, flair to him. Me, he there reminds me of, um, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know why I can't think of his name. The one with the tattoos all over his face. Oh, uh, the rapper guy? Yep. And why can't I think oh, of Oh, Post name? Malone. Yeah, yeah. He does remind me of Post Malone if he didn't have tattoos. <laughs> my boy Champagne got off the nomination block. Yeah. Yeah, he did. So... Good things. Yeah, yeah man. So, so who, uh, I, I'm kind of hoping that the veto is won by someone other than the three. Mm-hmm. And then they have the power. Or, I, I, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I just, I don't want either one of them to go home. There are a lot of I hope people uh, safe for immunity. Normally, there's not this many people safe for immunity. You got yeah, the whole first team. Then you got, an, yeah. like, Another team. You got Christian and then uh, Xavier, both completely immune right now. So that's and then six people right there. Someone could win the power of veto, making it mm-hmm. more people with and immunity. Then they, that's a lot. Oh yeah. And so. that put, and that puts Frenchie if in a pickle if somebody else if that third party does win. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, Frenchie is already. He a has pickle. to nominate a whole another person. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it's not if the third party wins. If one of them wins and takes themselves off. Right. Exactly. But the third party could win also and take them off. Yeah. No, he could. So me personally. Hey, I'm with you, Frenchie. <laughs> I mean, break break, with break you, up the showman's, brother. It, break up the showman's. If Sarah were to get to play in the veto and win, uh-huh. she could play the veto on Alyssa, and then that whole team is safe. Yeah, I true. don't mind Alyssa, yeah. though. I'm hoping she sticks around. Nah, She's I'm, like, I'm a Frenchie on this one, man. Maybe one of the, the hottest chicks on the show. I don't know. Yeah, Alyssa? Yeah. Oh, well, she's yeah. definitely. Alyssa Whitney. Yeah. So, you know. She's definitely. She's Alyssa definitely one of the hot chicks on the show. I think no she looks the best without the makeup. She's ne- she looks pretty with makeup. She looks pretty natural. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. If I had to pick one, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, a lot, a lot of them when they're with their makeup is off, man. They got a lot of that acne going because they cake the makeup on, right? So they got to. Well, they're young. They gotta, they gotta, a lot gotta, of them are young and stuff. So that's true too. Yeah. They're stressed out now. Mm-hmm. They gotta, they gotta, l- they gotta lay off the makeup. <laughs> stars, man. They don't need five layers of that stuff, man. You know, just one nice little coat and you're good. You know, you can wear better than five layers they're of makeup, on TV. Espe- especially they're at that on age, TV. right? Like you said, they're young, the man. They're young. They're, you know, they're young. They got nice, you know, nice skin. You ain't gotta have no damn five layers of makeup yeah. on your face. Yeah, it would be nice to be young. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be right. I mean, like I said, the oldest person on there is forty, and it is a female. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, I th- and I think the next oldest was like 30, right? It was like 40, then 30, and then everybody else was in their 20 or something. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, French, yeah, yeah, French is 34, yeah. And then you had uh, Whitney, who's 30, and I think pretty much everybody else is younger than that. So, yeah. All right, you guys, any, you got any final thoughts before we wrap it up? Yeah, Team Frenchie all the way, baby. <laughs> He's done next week is my guess. Nah, man, for just uh, stick I'm around. I'm going to hold some thoughts until, uh, until no, you the got, no, 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 you got to say something here. I already here. told, I mean, no. I, already, I, I hope that, that the nominations change based on the veto. Whitney and Brent, that's who I'm rooting for. Nah, Whitney man. and Bren. Yep. Can you, you can only have one, two. man. You can only have one. No, that's my this top. Ain't that's the a guy same, and a girl. That's same, a guy and same, a girl. The St. Hunger Games here, <laughs> where one, one, one man, one woman will get to go home. Only one of these. There's only one, right? There could be only one. This is Highlander rules. I'd probably like to see Bren only one. take it in the end. Yeah, I think. I, I think bet you I, would. <laughs> I would like that, too, but I think Bren will be gone pretty quickly. Maybe. Based on this week. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. He's, he's been a pretty, smooth he's talker. He knows, boy, and he's he knows when he's in danger. He, well, you never know. There's somebody else could say something, and then yeah, that's all. And Brent's, Brent's been pretty quiet too. Yeah, we haven't really heard much he's from been him this week. Quiet, so, yeah. and he said yeah. the right things to Frenchie. So, yeah, yeah. So, we'll see. He's playing it pretty good. 
All right, everybody. Well, hey, please let us know what you think. Uh, let us know who your favorite is and who you'd like to see get booted off. If you like our channel, like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next review. See you guys. I'm, I like to twist. And we're back. It just slides on it. This season. This uh -huh. season. <laughs> this season of Big Brother. This season. Or are you going to say you're, you're a rookie here? Or you can grab it like the Bamba dude. Or like, Point that can I talk it like that? Right there, there you go, right there you Thank go. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe you want to get a little closer. Can I quit? Right? Can... Never I'm noticed. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the Tommy is like hitting him with the axe. Like he's hitting him with the mag. He's like, he's making him the door, making him the door, he's coming through. Yeah, you're very over-exaggerating. Very, very over. You, you, you want to look at the video and see? I'm not prepared to carry this. What? Okay, let's let's see. This, that, oh. How is that helpful? Oh. Tell you right now, you people are messing with the wrong guy. He's over exaggerating, folks. All right. Someone help me, please.